how do you feel ahead of the weekend? Brendan, I know you've been in big cup games and big mm. cup finals and won big cups. And I know, you know, you've told us before as a child, it was off on the, the Scottish FA Cup final for you. That was the big one. But as, as an entry on a CV, walking your players out at Wembley for an FA Cup final, I'd imagine we'll, we'll be up there for you. Yeah, no, absolutely no doubt. As you said, you know, it's uh, our focus has been a lot of the, the, the last few weeks on the games that we've had to play. But as soon as the, the Manchester United game was over, it's a it's a really really special game to to look forward to. As you say, we've all grown up with it, and uh, and in particular British coaches, we we've watched it all through our lives. The build up to all these games, um, so to be able to to lead uh, Leicester City out in the first time in over fifty odd years in a final, um, it would be a real privilege for me. And uh, yeah, I, I'm so excited, looking forward to it. And, and these weeks, you've always got to stay calm. Um, we, we've always tried to ensure the preparation for every game is, is huge. Uh, but of course, th this is a game where you can create an incredible legacy. And, uh, you know, you, you write your own story in these games, and that's hopefully what we can do. And there's a few stories out there, Brendan, isn't there, that, that are waiting waiting to be written. Um, Jamie Vardy's, of course, the obvious one. What an incredible story it would be if... If Jamie Vardy won the Premier League and Champions League, but had a, an FA Cup winner's medal around his neck, um, you, you, the, 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 John, Johnny Evans has, has a history in this competition, but we'll be desperate to get a medal, a winner's medal for him. There's, um, there's some heroes out there as, uh, for you. How's, how are the boys in the build-up to this one? Is it any different? No, I've been brilliant. Really excited. Of course, we're we're off the back of a good performance and result against Manchester United, um, and I think you've seen in in all the big games this. Uh, this season, that this team comes alive in these types of games. You know the, the mentality and the attitude in the games and the quality we have to, to win. So uh, we know we're playing against uh, an exceptional team that have got a lot of really good momentum over these last few months. And uh, uh, as I said, the, they've probably been the favourites for the game because of where they're at and, and everything else. But um, but for us, we're, we're so looking forward to it. It's uh, going to be a great occasion, but. Uh, Focus on performing well. Do you think it's going to be a cagey affair, Brendan? No, I think it's going to be two aggressive teams wanting to impose their their way of working and playing. Um, so, uh, so I see it as a as a game where both teams will will look to you have that physicality in the game, and uh, and hope hopefully then your quality can come through. But uh, I'm sure it'll be a tight game. Um. James Madison and the, the, the quandary about him, you, you placed him on the bench for Old Trafford for the game against Man United, he came on and played well and performed well, he's often a starter for you. Is that going to be one of your biggest selection headaches on Friday night when you're picking your team or, or indeed tonight when you're picking your team? Yeah, there's just a number of things to, to consider, Ian, um, in a game of this magnitude. Um, James, James Madison, as you, as you know, there's probably not a coach in the country and a manager that rates him as highly as I do. So I know what his qualities are and I know what he can give a team. Um, and, and there'll be other players, you know, Rick, Ricardo Pereira. You know, we've all seen him over the last couple of years, the levels that, that, that he can get to. But ultimately you get into these games and, you, and it's about more than that. It's about more than the talent. You have to weigh up the, the physical nature of the game, what you want out of the game. And then uh, and, and try and strategize the game because, as I said, if players aren't quite to the level that you would want them to be at, okay, do they then have an impact in a different time in the game? So, uh, so this is all part of the the strategy and the the plan that we'll we arrive into the game. Um, and and like I said, that's uh, that's something that we'll come up with over this final twenty four hours beforehand. Do you have a different dressing room message or speech to the players, Brendan, on FA Cup final day? Do you have something planned, or is it very similar to to other kind of pre-match speeches as you send them out? No, I think I always try to have a story going to, before each game. You know, we we'll have a chat in terms of a, a tactical a few hours before the game, and then I'll always give the players a, a message a minute or so before they go out, and uh, uh, as we as we form a, a tight bond in, in the changing room, so uh, so yeah, give them that message before they go, and uh, and then let them go and enjoy it. What did you got to tell you? You're going to win it. Well, that's that's the plan. That's the plan. We in, we embrace the expectation. We uh, we go into 
this type of game with confidence. You know, we know we're going to have to work. And in any any final, you need that little bit of luck as well. You know, any final that I've won, they'll, you you need that uh, bit of luck along the way as well. But um, but I've got great trust in the players. We, we've shown hopefully in the in, the, in, in our games throughout the season, uh, no matter who we play, that we if we can play well, and um, we've got a great chance of winning. This is quite a deep question, actually. It's been such a difficult year for everybody, Brendan, including the fans who are going to be there, and I know you're excited. Who would you like to win the FA Cup for? I'd love to win it for uh, Convicia and his family. I think the his spirit and presence will be there with us on the day. And uh, and just having top over again this week has, has really uh, magnified the why, one of the reasons I came to here. Um, was because of them and and uh, and the cause of which Leicester City uh, has. So um, so yeah, of course I'd love to do it for the players. I'd love to do it for for the supporters. Uh, but if I had to pin one, it would be um, for Top and his family, and uh, that would be uh, that'd be truly special. 